Hello artist friends, it's Miss Sarah here from Moon Library and for Fine Art Friday today I want to talk about Louise Nevelson. She's one of my favorite sculptors. She created these gigantic sculptures made of wood. Now you may notice these are all one color and they look like a whole bunch of stuff just thrown together. Well, they kind of are. She would collect wood pieces, um, all kinds of different debris off the street, primarily wood in New York City. She was born in Russia, what's now Ukraine, and then her family moved to the United States in the early 1900s, and she studied art in New York. She was a painter, she worked on a lot of different things, and then she really fell in love with creating sculptures, sculptures like that. She said she wanted to be a sculptor, and she didn't want color to help her. So you'll notice most of her sculptures are black. Some of them are all white, some of them are all gold, but they're very much solid colors. So the important part in her sculptures are not the colors, but it's the lines, it's the forms, it's the object themselves, the way they work together to create the pieces. Now these are called installations or environments because they're so big. Some of them actually will surround you. You can walk around them and within them um, when you see them in person, they're huge. She loved the beauty that she found in discarded materials, and she considered black a total color. It contained all of the other colors, so she felt like it was really all she needed to work with. Nevelson started creating most of her works in the middle of the 1900s, so this makes her a mid-century modern woman. She was a really bold woman, a really strong-voiced woman, and she really changed sculpture. Louise Nevelson, I never feel age. If you have creative work, you don't have age or time. Like she was busy working, creating. And here's kind of a line drawing that kind of represents one of her sculptures. How, and you see how the shapes and the lines are more important than the color. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make our own Louise Nevelson sculpture. You're gonna get a lot of cardboard little bits and baubles and you can collect cardboard and wood stuff at home. I'm gonna suggest cardboard and wood because it paints up so much easier than anything else. And you can make your little box look however you want. So I was playing around cutting up some tubes of like paper and I've got some wooden things and I've got some of these little foamy letters which are kind of cool um all to make a little tiny box of sculpture so her sculptures were huge they were installations they were room size you could walk around them or in them they would kind of envelop you or tower over you these are going to be mini ones for the wall so you get a container of glue. Once you kind of arrange your box how you like it, then take out your glue and you can glue all your little pieces on. You can make stacks with the um, with cardboard to make things come out, stick out farther away from the back of the box. Like I just did that, that piece there. It's got a bunch of pieces of cardboard behind it. Um, if you have buttons at home or other little wood pieces or other interesting cardboard pieces, you could collect some of those and cut them and arrange them. You can make this however you want. So because color is not important, we're not looking for color. We're looking for shapes and how lines and how they make you look at that space. So I first glued, I arranged all my pieces. When I found a way I like them, then I glued them. Now, once you have them glued and they're dry, you probably wanna wait a day or so. You wanna make sure they're really stuck. Then you can take out your paint. Um, you guys have some black tempera in there with a brush and you're probably gonna to have to paint on a couple coats of paint, but you can paint all around the inside and the I really hope you've enjoyed learning about one of my favorite kinds of art, assemblage art, and one of my favorite sculptors, Louise Nevelson, and learning a little bit about installation art and making your own assembled piece.